Normally I try to be supportive towards any indie game, accepting its flaws and focusing on its charms, visuals, gameplay or music, giving it some time and even feedback to the developers to improve the current state, even if it has some problems, whether it's roguelike, platformer or just a unique indie game. I try to introduce it to my audience and want the people to give that project a chance, experience it by themselves. To be honest, it breaks my heart, frustrates me even a bit. I've been playing Loot River these last few days, trying to unlock new equipment, progress even a bit, but I think I had enough. After around 4-5 hours, I think I really had enough. Before even preparing for this video, I was judging myself if I was biased towards Loot River. After checking some Steam reviews and realizing that I'm not alone, I was sure. Loot River has some quite fundamental issues and desperately needs some adjustments because it has potential to be a good roguelike game. Released on May 3rd for Steam and Xbox, it was developed by an indie studio called Straka Studio. As this studio's first release game, Loot River has potential. A potential with some wrong game development choices. Right, so we find ourselves in an underground sanctuary using platforms to navigate ourselves within depths of ruins, trying to move upwards by each floor, fighting our way from this dungeon. When you look at visual of Loot River, pixel visuals are quite charming, interesting with unique atmosphere due to its river concept. But this time, appearance can also be quite deceiving. After 5 hours of gameplay, I can summarize Loot River as isometric hack and slash with Tetris like movement and Dead Cells like progress roguelike. I think this is the correct term for Loot River. Apologies if I made it quite confusing for you guys here. Pixel visuals plus isometric camera and hack and slash gameplay are aspects which can be seen by lots of indie games actually. So Loot River's Tetris kinda navigation is its unique selling point which seems interesting but quickly loses its charm and becomes a chore after a while. Even made me reset my run when all platforms were stuck at some point. So as the other roguelike games, levels are random generated. To be honest I think they are random generated but which pushes players to solve also puzzles by moving these platforms with the right analog stick and moving the character with the left analog stick while fighting against the threats of Loot River. By moving these platforms players can either separate enemies from one another or just avoid them keeping their health potions for future enemies. Though I wouldn't avoid enemies since you would also miss knowledge points which helps players to unlock gears such as hats, melee weapons and other gear. This knowledge leads to another problem. Most of players who tried Loot River are criticizing this knowledge mechanic. It resembles Dead Cells but rather different, unforgiving to be frank and unfair in general. So by luck players can gather these knowledge points to unlock gear. But this time Loot River limits players to make purchase during a run by making these knowledge points disappear after a player's death. Between each floors, players reach the sanctuary once again to spend their hard earned knowledge points. It resembles Dead Cells mechanics as I said but Loot River is way too unforgiving at this point. If you don't make a purchase and then die at a boss, say goodbye to all of your knowledge points. This can even make you quit the game for good, seeking an alternative roguelike experience. That's the problem with Loot River here. Roguelike games should be addictive, fair and also challenging to push the player for another step forward, unlocking new gears, new abilities while facing new enemies, customizing your character and pushing you to improve your gameplay also. Here by Loot River, I felt that Loot River is trying to make the progress hard and unfair, wants me to play this game for a long time. And soon as I felt this, my patience only lasted for 5 hours. So to be more detailed, I am also playing another roguelike game called Rogue Lords, which is also quite challenging and quite unfair at some times. But by Rogue Lords, I don't feel that my efforts are in vain. My characters learn new skills, I am developing new strategies to overcome the bosses and there are also new characters that I can unlock by doing achievements. Comparing it with Rogue Legacy 2 and Rogue Lords, Loot River seems quite weak. As I mentioned before this platform mechanic loses its charm and becomes a mundane gameplay mechanic. Not being able to improve character due to knowledge loss upon death interrupts the flow of the game and in my honest opinion this interruption is quite fatal for roguelike games. Although Loot River has a quite potential here, I think developers decided to make this game unfair grand fest in order to make its gameplay length longer. Even challenging games like Dead Cells lets players to keep those hard earned upgrade currencies for next run, 
motivating players to move forward. But after placing platforms here and there to fight on and enemies not dropping these knowledge points, and even if I receive these knowledge points, that they disappear after death did it for me. Final nail to the coffin. I really do hope Loot River improves its gameplay content, fixes its progress or presents something new for players to challenge. There are lots of roguelike games to enjoy, lots of roguelike games to dive into. And Loot River is one pond that I rather not dive into.